Hello. Lovely to meet you. I'm Hawk. Matthew. Hello, Hawk. Hi. This is Stephen. Hi, Stephen. And this is Jeremy. Mm. Hi, Hello. Jeremy. Yes. Tell us who you, your full name. Yep. My name is Matthew Goodgame. Yes. And what do you play in the show? I am playing Billy Flynn, the um, silver-tongued lawyer. Very good. <laughs> Tell us what you are like in real life and how are you in the play? Okay, in real life I'm very easygoing, yeah. very relaxed. I get along with everyone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go this way. And, um, but uh, Billy Flynn, yeah. he's, a, he's a man, he knows exactly what he wants. Mm. He's very decisive. He controls everyone. He comes into a room and everyone listens to him because he, he knows what he says and he gets people out of jail. And uh, he, he manipulates. Uh, we just did a number there, both reach for the gun, yeah. and uh, he makes Roxy a puppet. Yeah. So he tells her everything. So you say. did the same. But it was my voice. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. It's so defensive. So, is it easy for the easy-going Matthew to play, you know, Billy? It's really fun, <laughs> because I don't... I have to make lots of decisions in my life anyway. I run a few businesses, but yeah. it's, uh, I'm always quite friendly with it. So it's, it's quite fun just to go... Crazy. Oh, I want this, <laughs> I want that. Control, and uh, it's not my normal persona, so it's very nice to play someone different. So is, that's the great thing about being oh. on stage, right? Yeah, it's wonderful. You forget reality <laughs> yeah. for two and a half hours, and <laughs> yeah. then you come on, you can be whoever you want to be. So you're happy to be Billy? <laughs> that's it. I'm trying to be Superman. That's my yeah, next one. Yeah, and then when you go back to real life, you, you play nice. I play nice. I play nice. <laughs> <laughs> so have you played this role before? Yeah, I played it, but I won a TV show uh, back in 2004 yeah. called Musicality, and okay. it was a search for a new West End star. And in the UK, you're not over 20, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I was 24 then. Okay. I'll let you do the maths. And um, and then I played again in 2006. And then I actually came to sing the same role. You did the you same sing? role. Okay. Um, and then I've done a few uh, shorter versions of the show as like a promotional show throughout the years, um, from 2006 to 2012. Um, but this is, it's been a while since I've done the whole show on stage. So what, are you stereotyped into it? I can still do it. It's still in there. It's muscle memory. <laughs> yeah. So you, do you want to play other roles? Yeah, I've played um, a couple of my biggest roles. I've played Danny Zuko in Greece. Uh, oh, which is I grew up with that. Oh, it's The fantastic. movie, I mean. Yeah, you know? John Travolta. Yeah, didn't know it was a stage thing yeah. then, you know, because movies. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but John Travolta, mm. he made it yeah. so cool. Um, and then I went to to do, then I went to Germany uh, to play um, Greaseball, which is um, a Starlight Express. Okay. Do you know the roller skating? Yeah, um, um, Lloyd Webber. That's it, Andrew Lloyd Webber. And then I've done a few Dirty, uh, dirty Dancing, I've done the Thorn Birds, uh, She Loves Me, lots, lots and lots of different So you're things. a dancer? Yeah, I dance a bit. I, I met my wife doing Cats. Okay. Oh, what did you do in Cats? Uh, Monka Strap. He's the... Um, He's the son of old Deuteronomy. Okay. So he's the one that's going to take over. Yeah. He's, yeah. The, he's the proud cat. Yes. So do you get to dance much in this one? I think. Um, a little bit, but with much, the suit, okay. it restricts you. Yeah. So, but in Razzle Dazzle, I do a little. I bit remember of that one, yeah. Yeah. But that's it. The, do you the guys not... do the rest. No. 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 They, oh, I, I what a waste. <laughs> <laughs> they do that in the movie, don't they? <laughs> yeah. They used to do that in the original. Yeah. Um, uh, and why did they spare you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Too many pies. No. no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us why we should see the show. Oh well, it's uh, once in a lifetime. This show, um, the movie's fantastic. Mm -hmm. But this, when we go on stage, we have such an adrenaline rush because you can only, you've only got one take. You can't say, "Oh, stop! Let's do it again." Yeah. So the passion that we bring to it is very heightened, and um, I think it's very relevant to today. Um, and everyone wanting instant fame. And uh, even though it's in a different way, yes. and these are murderers, murderesses, yes. um, but in life now you have American Idol, X Factor, and the, the press 
plays a massive role in it. Yeah. Uh, but each number in the show is almost a hit number. Yeah. There's so many beautiful songs. And uh, the dancing, they all look beautiful. Yeah. So it's, it's lovely to look at. And the nice thing is there's not a lot to the stage. So you see the band, um, it's quite minimalistic, but it draws your attention. It reminds me of Cabaret though. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. But it draws your attention mm -hmm. to what we're doing on stage, yeah. which is really nice. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, the thing about this show is, is, is slightly surreal, is it not? So how do you all make it, like, connect with us? Well, it's surreal to a certain extent, but it's based on true stories. So um, th these things happened. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Back, in, back in the 1920s. Um, and Mary Sunshine um, is actually based on one of the, the characters who, who wrote, used to write about the, the lady killers. And um, her columns used to go down so well that she wrote it into a play. And then over time, it, they got the rights. Uh, but after she passed away, uh, they got the rights and they turned it into a musical. Um, so it is a musical theatre license hey, of the true story. Wonderful, fantastic. That's it. <laughs> now we're going to see it. That's it. Okay, congratulations. Thank you very and much. Lovely to meet you. We're going to see it. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. All, everyone has done the show before. Ah, that's easy and for you. Yeah, it's easy for us. Uh, but the thing is, some of them has, did the show in 2005. Yeah. Some of them did it in 2017. Yes. Yes. So versions kind of change a little bit. So getting them all back together and saying, this is what this section is. And some go, oh, oh that was slightly different <laughs> 10 years ago. So, so, so who decides what changes and which we're, version? We're goes? doing the version that we do. So our dance captain, Helen, she knows this version. So this is the version we kept. Right. So, so whoever is the one doing it? Yeah. Really? She's, she's, yeah. She, she choreographed this tour as yeah. the, how, she knew, how she knew the choreography yeah. to be. Yeah. And everyone had to slightly adapt. Yeah. How much, how much of the original choreography by Bob Fosse do you all try to take in or leave out or that kind of decision? It's all, it it's, it's all choreographed in the style of Bob Fosse. Yes, and yes. Rankin of course, was yes. one of the, his yes. dancers and was yes. his muse, basically. And so she recreated it from the 1975 production that she was in. So it's slightly different, but it's all in the Fosse style. So all the moves yes. would have been done so by Fosse. So that's the most point. important thing. Yeah, it's, it's the keeping it real, keeping yeah. it how he would work. In case we shake apart and want a brand new start to do that. So. And we love the show for it. Oh, it's great. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's iconic, iconic choreography. Yes. It doesn't need changing. <laughs> yep, it's all like, the best. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank, thank, thank you, you very for much. Coming. Cheers.